Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing Javon Holland in a Javon Holland film session and determining what he brings to the Dolphins defense. Before we get started, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. It would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, let's dive right into it and I hope you enjoy. So with the Dolphins taking Javon Holland um, in the second round of the draft, um, I think that this, you know, is a good opportunity for, uh, for, for me to do a Javon Holland uh, film breakdown video. Obviously, as a Dolphins fan, uh, I'm going to be, you know, talking about some Dolphins, more, more Dolphins guys um, in the upcoming bits of time. I'm going to be doing some team breakdowns of the Dolphins as well as some other teams um, in the near future. Uh, but we're going to do a film breakdown here on Javon Holland. And I think that when we look at the film breakdowns to start with, we always talk about the stats. And, and with the stats, you know, obviously didn't play last year um, for Oregon uh, because of uh, the COVID um, it, uh, COVID scare, you know, obviously 2020 was a weird season, uh, but nonetheless, 2019, this guy was an impact player and that's exactly why the Dolphins are drafting or ended up drafting him. I mean, you saw you saw four, four pass deflections, you saw a, a pick six, you saw four interceptions, you saw four and a half tackles for loss, you saw five interceptions the year before. This guy is an athlete and he's a playmaker. He's a ball hawker um, in the back end. He's, he's a ball hawking safety. That's exactly what he is. I um, mean, he's a guy that can really go up and make plays on the football, a guy who can, you know, uh, line up in a versed, uh, as a versatile player. I mean, he even was a punt returner at times in college. Um, he can, he's a really a versatile athlete because of his um, elite um, athleticism and his skills, um, not just as a pass catcher, uh, uh, not, not what am I saying? Not just as a as as a guy who can pick off passes, but as a guy who you can line up in different areas um, and who can be an impact player wherever you put him. So now let's dive into the film analysis um, and of this video. So let's dive in right here. So this play I'm going to show you here is Javon Holland getting an interception, uh, one of his many interceptions, and more importantly, this is what I want to show you. This is going to be Javon Holland over here and. To be honest, I don't really care where, you, where he lines up. I just care where this football is in the air. This football is right here in the air. You can see this is the receiver that this ball is being targeted to. This is Javon Holland. Sorry, sorry for the really bad video quality. That's actually kind of bad. Uh, but overall, you see how Holland's behind the receiver. And this football is thrown out in front a little bit. It's a little bit behind maybe. But overall, it's to this general area. But what Holland's, Holland is able to do is catch up to it and undercut it. And sure, this football is underthrown. It really needs to be over here so that receiver can continue running. But this football is, is a little bit underthrown, but Holland has that speed and that instinct for the football to run under it, go after it, um, and make a big play here uh, for uh, for a touchdown. You see, but even after that, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be like, okay, wow, nice play. Really saw the football, went after the football, got the football, undercut the football, and now he's going out and making a play. And look at this athleticism, look at this burst, look at this speed, look at the ability here to go up and make the make the catch as as, as, a, as a safety, right? This guy's not a receiver, but he's got the speed and the skill set after the catch, like a receiver, understands where the blockers are, um, and he simply is just able to, you know, weave his way through and die for the pylon uh, for a touchdown. But overall, this is just heads up awareness too. Heads up awareness, and it just shows his ability to be dynamic in open space after, you know, getting interception. So that's another part of this game. But overall, uh, you really just have to admire his ability to undercut the football, undercut the route, really lock in on where the football is going and make a big grab here. So I like this play from Javon Holland, really shows what he's all about, but there's a little bit more to him too that we'll dive into um, as this video continues. And this is much more of traditional Javon Holland, I guess, um, in a way. Uh, he, you're going to see him uh, here matched up one-on-one -on -one, uh, with that guy there. Um, and basically, it's going to be a deep route uh, where Javon Holland's going to have to catch up to, to this football. And at the end of the day, this football is underthrown by the quarterback. It really is underthrown. It needs to be over that back shoulder to, towards the sideline. But Holland has the speed uh, to really close that off. And it, it really looks tight. It's true one-on-one -on -one coverage. And, you know, at the college level and the NFL level, if it's one-on-one -on -one coverage deep downfield, you take that shot. You really do. You take that shot. Even if there's little separation, you take the shot. Uh, because at the end of the day, someone can go up and make a play. And in this case, it's Javon Holland. Simply boxes out the receiver, you know, gets position, inside position on that receiver, really cuts him off uses his body well to seal and simply high points that football goes up and catches it making a big grab and that's exactly what you need right uh that that's that's textbook right there tracking the football the entire way you see how he's using his body to shield uh the the football using his body to make sure that the the receiver can't really have a clean play on it and simply 
sits back down, uses his position, uses his body um, to go up and make that grab. And at the end of the day, he's got really good hands too. This guy had nine interceptions in his two seasons at Oregon um, playing football. So overall, good hands, good read on this on this ball, and good catch um, to secure the play, secure the catch. Um, overall, textbook here by Javon Holland. Next up, let's look at his versatility. And when I'm talking about versatility, I'm talking about where he can play. Here, he's not playing on the outside as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a corner, right? He's not playing on the outside as a corner. He's not playing as a traditional safety, though. He's playing as a slot corner here. Um, and you can put a safety as a slot corner. That's not super rare. But more importantly, it, it, what it shows is he he's not just a one-trick guy. He's not a one-trick guy. He can do a multitude of things. And in this case, he's playing the slot corner role. Um, and what he's able to do is he's able to use his speed to keep up uh, with the wide receiver. And as this ball is a little bit underthrown, he, once again, it's all about those instincts. It's all about those instincts, those hands, that hand-eye coordination that he really has, and his athletic ability to just be feisty, get after the football, make a big play, catch a football there, and, and come away with an interception. That's what Javon Holland does. He, he's, he's sticky in coverage. Um, he's pretty solid in man. Um, he He's fast, he's physical on the football, but more importantly, he's got that really good knack for finding the football, putting his hands on it, and I'm really excited to see him, him and Xavier Howard in, in the Dolphins secondary next year. I think that's going to be a dangerous one-two combo uh, with the uh, ability for them to pick off passes, one as a cornerback, one as a safety. You're not going to want to throw to this Dolphins secondary, um, and I think that's what Javon Holland brings to this Dolphins team. He really brings that knack for finding the football, using his body and his positioning and his, more importantly, his speed to make the plays that he needs to make. Uh, but he's also just so good at once the football's in his hands uh, to the point where, you know, he's not dropping them. He's not dropping the football. He's making the plays he needs to make. Um, but more importantly, uh, he's he's really he's really making sure that he's making the most of his opportunities. And it's also his technique too. It's his technique. You see how he's able to, once at the beginning, he's staying on the outside of that receiver, but it's that play recognition to cut to the middle, cut to the inside, and intercept that pass. Really good job here by Javon Holland showing off what he's able to do. And this is much more of a play where we see the pure athletic ability from Javon Holland. We see the pure athleticism and the pure instinct and knack for the football that Javon Holland possesses. And this is not going to be an, an, an interception here. It really isn't. But you're going to see uh, him lined up uh, with this receiver one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and at the end of the day, He's going to run towards the middle of the field on a semi-corner route, I guess this we, we call this a corner route, and Holland is just going to be like one step behind him. He's just going to be right there with him. He's going to be staying with him all the way, um, just staying with him. And as this ball is thrown to the middle, right, it's not thrown to this guy. you got to remember, it's not thrown to this guy. It's coming actually on this crossing route here. Look how much space there looks to be in the middle of the field. Really, there is no one there, and the quarterback sees that. He reads that. He understands that he's got two receivers going to the space. So he, the window is going to be closing as the defender's closing behind them. But overall, the space is open, so he just simply throws into that space. But Holland reads that. You see, there looks like there's space here. This looks like this is a pretty good throw. There's no one really here, right? This receiver is running under it. He's got space here. But look at how quickly Holland can close down the angle. And this is all because of the athleticism and the length of this football. And it's sure it's a thrown a little bit too far to the left. But Holland, I mean, there's gonna be there's gonna be inaccurate throws in the NFL. And Holland is able to make sure that that ball is not able to be caught using his length, using his athleticism, using his his ability to jump after it and really have that knack for the football. He likes to get his hands on the football. He's not afraid of contact, he's not afraid of getting a big hit. That's what I love about Javon Holland's game. He's just got he's always around the football. And this is just another instinct where he's using his length and his athleticism to make a difference on the football field. So I think he's going to be a big part of Brian Flores' defense using that insane length, great athleticism, and great ball skills and traits, uh, ball and just ball traits uh, that allow him to be really uh, dynamic as a defender. And I think this play is just a testament to the athleticism. This is a punt return. This is a punt return. This is simply a punt return. And I don't want to really analyze the punt return more than just show, sh show it to you. But really, you see, he gets the outside, recognizes where he needs to go, gets to the outside, um, and is able to really pretty much weave his way through in and out of of um, the, the defense for a touchdown, right? That's 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 kind of where it's at. And I I want to really just show 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 you this play because it just shows you the pure speed that he has. It shows you the pure athleticism he has. It shows you the all around athlete he is. It's not yeah, this guy can return punts. Cool, he's a versatile weapon. He can do a multitude of things. If the Dolphins need a punt returner, they can utilize him in situations if they want. Uh, they also have Jalen Waddle. That's another guy that they could think about utilizing as a punt returner. Um, but overall, you know you know this is a guy or even a guy like Jakeem Grant who I've heard potentially might be out the door because of all that 
plethora of talent they have at wide receiver and you know uh, punt returning prowess. Um, but a guy like J- uh, J- uh, Javon Holland, he can return punts. He's a versatile guy because of that athleticism. And you know this 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 punt return touchdown here, especially as a safety, you don't really see safeties as punt returners. Shows you the speed that he has, shows you the athleticism he has, and shows you the ability for him to make plays with the ball in his hands. Uh, and that that unique skill set, that's something you can't teach. That's something you can't coach. That's something you're born with. That's that's something that's instinctual. Um, and that's something Javon Holland has. And I'll continue to say it time and time again, time and time again, Javon Holland is an athlete. He really is. And he's really able to make plays on the football. This is simply one-on-one here. Um, and Holland, once again, he uses his positioning and uses his body to make plays on the football. Here, he's closing off the angle. The football's coming up over the top. And simply, he's high pointing the ball, tracking the ball. He's not afraid of the contact. Um, and what he's able to do is he's able to come away here uh, with an incompletion. Right, force the inclusion. Probably should end up catching this, to be honest. Should probably intercept this play. Um, watching this again, he should probably be able to intercept that. But he breaks up the play, and that's exactly what you need need for for a safety. You need a guy that you can trust, putting on a tight end, a wide receiver, um, and that's what that's what Javon Holland is able to do. He's able to stay with guys deep downfield because he's got the speed, he's got the athleticism, but more importantly, he's got the technique to shut down those 50-50 balls. And especially as a, as a smaller safety, I guess um, he's not small in the sense of size uh, of like of of, of height, six one, two hundred one pounds. I guess that's not so small for a safety. Um, it just he he kind of plays in a way where he looks smaller than he actually is, if that makes sense. Um, like he's he's obviously lanky and and and, and fast, uh, but you know at six one two hundred he doesn't. I mean I think I think I guess maybe I'm just making this up here, uh, but I see him as maybe a little smaller than that. He looks a little bit smaller than that on tape. He looks about that height, but he just looks skinny and lanky. Um, maybe more of like a one ninety five one ninety kind of guy. But at the end of the day. I can still 100% see him as 200. Um, once again, not massive for a safety, but lanky nonetheless, long reach, um, and 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 a guy that could uh, really be um, a, a, an impact player uh, for this Dolphins defense just because of what he's able to do with his size, with, with with the size, with his length. More importantly, it's more about the length for me. It's 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 the wingspan, the arm span, uh, the ability for him to get to the football. Maybe that's why I think he's he's a little bit um, thinner than that, just because uh, you know of that length uh, that he possesses that makes him look super lanky but overall it's just that that ability to get to footballs and get his hands on footballs and we've talked about versatility that's something we have talked about you're going to see him uh, lined up right here at the line of scrimmage you don't really typically see safeties all the time lined up there uh, but this is going to be a play where he's able to just make an impact guy i mean he's, he's able to bring the pressure bring the heat um and and cause cause some pressure on the quarterback here and that's what i love to see about javon holland right it's not just about you know getting um interceptions incompletions all that stuff all that jazz deep downfield but he can also pressure the quarterback a little bit he uses his his speed and his length um to 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 bring the heat here and although uh you know this play uh, doesn't really end up in, in all that much right um it just ends up in a sack uh, nonetheless, this is a good j- job by Javon Holland, just pressuring the quarterback, right? He's able to do a v- variety of things. He's a versatile weapon defensively, uh, and I think that he'll be a real chess piece for Brian Flores' defense in Miami. So with that said, Javon Holland is going to be a guy who I think can bring a lot to this Dolphins defense. This Dolphins defense was really good at forcing turnovers last year, thanks to you know Xavier Howard absolutely going off last year. But nonetheless, Javon Holland is a ball-hawking safety number one. That's the number one thing he does. He's a ball-hawking safety, but more importantly, he uses his size, his length, um, and his speed, as well as his technique, to stay with uh, uh, opposing wide receivers, opposing tight ends, opposing playmakers on the offensive side of the football. Um, he's able to stay with them. He's able to, to play with them, and he's able to shut them down, um, especially as, as a member of the secondary. If that's corner, if that's safety, he's a versatile guy. You can line up in a variety of different places, um, and he can be a guy that can play different positions. Um, I think he can play a slot corner role too a little bit um, because he's got he's a little bit on the smaller side. I, I still see him as a smaller than than, than 6'1", 201. Maybe it's just the lankiness. I'm, I've talked about that a few times. But overall, it's the athleticism. It's 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 the length, but it's the instinct for the football, things you can't teach. Uh, and, and we saw this from the Miami Dolphins going out and getting Jalen Phillips too. Instinct. Uh, instinct for the football. Um, a, a guy um, who really pursues the football, and that's what Javon Holland does. He pursues the football. He's got a knack for being around the football. Um, and I, as a safety, that's a important. That's really important. I think that he's going to be absolutely uh, a great fit there in Miami, especially as a, as a guy who could definitely 
you know, help uh, the secondary. I think that the safety position for Miami has been one of the weaker ones since Rashad Jones really fell off a cliff. Uh, they did have TJ McDonald for a little bit. Uh, they had uh, Bobby McClain, Bobby McCain play there last year. They had obviously Rashad Jones a few seasons ago, uh, but it's been, it's been, it's been a tough position for the Dolphins over the past few seasons. Um, and although, you know, Eric Rowe has been fine and Bobby McCain was, was, was okay last year. Uh, I think Javon Holland has the ability to be a true playmaker in the secondary. So watch out for him next year. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.